Hello everybody, Bethany here. So today I'm coming back to you with another video on Hobby Lobby. I felt like last time I kind of sped through, so I wanted to go a little bit deeper into the details on the shelving. So of course I missed picking up that pillow last time, so I had to get it this time. And then this wall here that I'm looking at, they had placemats, blankets, they have a ton of different pillow variations that are on the top there, but first we're gonna look in this corner, which I didn't really notice last time. Looks like a lot of the tree toppers were shoved into a corner, but I do like that rose gold and silver sequin star one in the bottom. And then for the pillows, they have a lot of neutrals, classic plaid, um, some red and white striped, and then also some Grinch pillows are up here. And then I wanted to show you a closer look at these trees. So I did get one of these trees. It was a much smaller version in my last video um, at Hobby Lobby, but I wanted to show you the gold glitter on those. And then this one I didn't notice last time, but it's so pretty. They're thin little pine needles. They are glittery and it lights up. And then last time we were here, this shelf was full of the wooden boxes. I had asked you guys about them and if you prefer them around your tree. And it looks like they are completely gone from the shelf. Um, I did notice them in another spot right there. But let me tell you, a lot of those are gone. So the dark wooden ones, if you guys are interested in those, I would go ahead and grab them as soon as you're able to head over to Hobby Lobby. Now I think we breezed past this little gingerbread setup last time, but I had to show you guys a close up, especially of the one with the gumdrop on her head. They are so cute. They not only have these stuffies, but they also have gingerbread houses, gingerbread ornaments, just a ton of variety. Across from that, they had the buffalo checkered red and black plaid, as well as the white and black Christmas decor. So these are little mini ornaments, little displays, and then they also have these little wicker boxes, which I'm not really sure what they're for. If you guys know, let me know. As you all know, I am a pink girly. I am a glitter girl. Love some rose gold, that champagne color. So last time I was here, if you guys saw in the last video, I got the smaller little tree duo that was on the top shelf in champagne. And then they have like a medium size and then a really large single size on the bottom shelf all the way down there. So I ended up actually getting a medium pair to go with my smaller pair for next time. And then that little pink tree there, the bottle brush is kind of thicker with the pink ornaments. I got one of those too. I found the snowman trio set with marshmallows, hot chocolate powder, and mint inside this little hot cocoa stand section on the end cap. That would be a really nice gift for coworkers, secret Santa, or even a stocking stuffer. Following that row is the Grinch aisle. So if you all are Grinch people, you want to head to Hobby Lobby for sure, they had kid plates, cookie jars, they had gift sets, tablecloths, kitchen towels, spatulas, aprons. I'm telling you, a ton of stuff. It was completely grinched out. I actually really love this serving tray. There's a ramen bowl, <laughs> but this serving tray underneath is really nice. And I think that's simple. You can decorate it and then you still get the ooh la la from the Grinch on it. Here's a closer look at those gift sets, hot chocolate powder mix, and honestly, oh my gosh, it's so bad. I thought that was a shot at first, but it is vanilla syrup, okay guys? Vanilla syrup for your coffee. <laughs> On the opposite side, they had more of that classic Christmas look. I am in love with this reindeer mug. No, I did not get it, I was good. But it is so, so cute, I'm in love with it. Next to that, you have this adorable gingerbread house coffee mug. Oh my gosh, I am in love with it. My sister loves gingerbread, so I got that for her as a present. Honestly, she wasn't feeling good that day, so I felt like I needed to get her something to cheer her up a little bit. The disco ball was super cute, but expensive for what I thought it would be. Um, but yeah, this is the classic aisle. So you have that classic red and green, you have the plaid, anything that makes you feel like you're stepping into a Hallmark movie, basically. And those pastel ornament mugs are some of my favorites this year that I've seen. If your family is into getting Christmas crackers, they also have that at Hobby Lobby. So they have a red and green foil version, and then you'll see in a second they also have a blue and red. This year it comes with paper crowns and the toys on the back of that box that you just saw. No charades or jokes or riddles like they used to do. I also really like these scoops. Those would be great if you're doing like a Christmas Eve or Christmas Day buffet, like a breakfast buffet. Or if you're having a holiday party, you can use that for candy. 
these tumblers are really cool they were super glittery it wasn't like a snow globe with liquid in the top it was just glitter and some little figurines inside but super adorable These gingerbread spatulas are so pretty. I really love them. And then I also love the wooden spoons. You guys know that already if you saw my last video. And then also these candy bowls kind of throw me back to early 2000s. Let me know what you think. These are the trending TikTok ornaments that I talked about last time as well. So you have the darker brown. You have like this camel brown as well. And they are textured. So kind of like that velvety feel to them. I didn't pick up any, but I think they look really cool. These bells are classic. Christmas to me white bells you have to have your pine cone on there super pretty honestly I love the look of them hanging all together too I think this would be gorgeous if you could do those instead of sprays maybe on your front door or just have that single by itself on your front door I thought it would be really nice they also have these wooden beaded charms that they do basically for every holiday if you're into neutral holidays I showed like a little quick peek at this but they do have various options for garlands um, they kept it neutral tones. I mean, honestly, how cute is that deer with the scarf on with the glitter antlers? It was tempting. I didn't get it, but so cute. And I'm not certain that the nativity scenes were out last time we were there, but they are out now. They are so, so, so pretty. Tim and I actually don't have one yet. We are trying to decide what type we want, and we might go for a more expensive one where we buy piece by piece each year. But I did want to show you all. I really love this section, and some of the ornaments are just beautiful. This one here was actually my favorite. I was looking at it and I realized it was upside down, but all the ones behind that were correct. I don't know what happened with that one. This welcome winter sign is so pretty. This is perfect if you're putting it up from the beginning of December and leaving it up all the way until February, March. This red nutcracker sign, so pretty. I thought this would look great in the basement, but I did want to get Tim's opinion first. This sign here, I showed you guys last time, it's the most wonderful time of the year and wonderful is in a shimmery gold. And then just a closer look at the sign section. This Christmas tree, I think it's a stocking. Um, these are actually letter boards, so it's kind of cool. It could be an extravagant gift tag. It could be a countdown to Christmas. It could have a little Christmas message, whatever you want to say. I just thought it was super unique, and I don't think I've seen it before. I also really like this sign. This is another one I wanted to see with Tim if he was interested in it too. I thought it would look really pretty hanging in our living room. Same with the sign as well. Kind of different vibes, but this would be like in the entryway leading up to our living room. And I actually have that sign into all a good night that hangs above our front door. I couldn't resist showing you guys that. <laughs> this canvas here reminds me of the Polar Express. It is so cute and so sweet. And this next one is textured. It's so pretty, I really like it. It depends which one you're getting though. I did take a closer look at the effect that they did to make it like, kind of like 3D looking and some look a little messy. So I would just take a look at the patterns that they did if you are choosing one. They also expanded and unpacked more of their Nutcracker section. So this is a little more of a selection than it was last time we were there. And then Tim was looking at this polar bear last time. He decided to put it back. I knew he really wanted it though. And then that's the snowman that we got last time. But, so I decided to go ahead and pick that up and put it in the cart for him. I kind of thought the one behind the sign would be more fitting because it has two little bears on it, like our two puppies that play with him. Ultimately, I decided to get the bear that he was eyeing when we were there together. Again, I wanted to show the pink glitter section. I wanted help choosing items for my office. So take a look at what you see here on the screen. I did pick up two things. I picked up a garland, a thinner ornament bobble type of looking garland that you will see in just a second. So it's that smaller one that you see right here. The other items that I have for my office are the trees that I talked about earlier. So yeah, I can't wait to go ahead and get that glammed up for Christmas. 
I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please hit the subscribe button, like, and share, and I will see you all next time. Bye.